going to take a picture for Instagram. Okay. Good angle, Scarlett. Okay, good. Perfect, 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 perfect. Ah! How to take yourself out on a date. Hmm. I don't have any hobbies. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. On today's video, I'm gonna make a video about how to fully love yourself for 2019. As you may have know, I make videos about fitness, lifestyle, and science. So in order to be fully fit and healthy, I feel that self-love is super duper important. And it may also seem like I'm already fit and healthy and really loving myself and feeling myself. But in, the reality is that I also have days where I don't like myself, I am so mean to myself, but I'm here to share with you all on how you can improve that and how you can fully love yourself more so you create more of that abundance and full of that happiness and healthy energy for 2019. So I want to share with you a story from yesterday and also a week ago or so. So yesterday I saw this really amazing girl at the gym who had some awesome glutes, like really huge and round glutes. I probably have never seen them apart, maybe on even Instagram girls. I mean, some don't, I mean, compared to them, she has a huge booty and too bad she didn't have an Instagram or anything on social media, but she's a power lifter, really strong and you know, all those nice glutes that I've always dreamed of. And as you may have known that already, like on Instagram, on, on YouTube, I like to make videos on how to grow your glutes. And, you know, I also really, you know, enjoy the process of getting it. But, you know, I feel like my self ego was kind of based on that. So when I knew that, I mean, compared to her, I'm not even that big yet. So it was a little kind of depressing when I was, you know, like comparing myself to her first. And also I was trying to get the goal, like I was writing out the goal that I'm going to get those huge, nice, round and strong glues for 2019. But in fact, I was coming from a place of lack, something like I'm really desperate to get them and it's like, I don't have it yet, no matter how hard I try, you know, I just, I'm still not getting that. Like, it was really motivating to look at it, but from another stand, from a perspective, I was also having a negative view about me that no matter how hard I try, I still don't get it. And also a week ago, it was a powerlifting meet, some girls really strong, and I just felt like I did not belong to that, and yes, that's why I made this last video on my training programming on getting stronger, but also getting, you know, building bigger muscles. That's why I do that. But I realized that it was all kind of coming from a place of lack. I mean, I've grown so much from before I started this fitness journey, my self love was like dust particle size, but now it's big, but still not bigger. There's always room for improvement. And so I just want to say that if you compare yourself to others, there will always be people who have better things than you. And if you do that, it will always steal your happiness. It will, comparison is def definitely the thief of joy. Never do that, especially for physical stuff like grades or looks or money. But the reality is that hard work is just as important as the physical, you know, the result of it. So if you are putting in the effort, acknowledge yourself and treat yourself with the love that you wanna give for others. That is super important. Um, for me, I wanna be um, motivational, you know. I'm also a personal trainer who also like to tell other people to continue doing it, even though you might not have those results yet to keep crushing it. So I want to do that for other people. But if I am not even taking care of myself, I won't be able to motivate and influence other people. So that's how I see that um, to fully love yourself, you know, 
I know you all are like you all want to help other people you might want to help other people too and you want to spread and contribute love to this world but first before you do that you need to really care understand respect yourself for the amount of effort you put in for every single day and my second tip is to immerse yourself in an environment that allows you to love yourself and fully express yourself so that is probably one of the reasons why i do youtube i do it because i love it i love to see you guys and i love to see that i can somehow have an impact on this world and being able to express my passion on here, that means a lot to me. I can be myself around here and I can also connect with you and make friends here. That is so cool. It's not just about the social media following and trying to, you know, build, but I mean, that could be a goal, but you know, that is not the main essence of it. The main essence is the passion and the environment being able to be myself here and do exercise and nutrition stuff it is what matters to me the most and yeah that concept can also be applied to people if you fully love yourself you won't put up with people who do not nourish you help you grow and understand you you will only settle for people who want the best in you and that's not just friends also for relationships and just like that and i also want to say that i really thank my boyfriend bryce if you're watching this that um he also helps me to love myself a lot more um i'm still on a working progress i'm still not perfect i still have dark days but somehow he see this and he ch challenges me and he helps me to be better at loving myself too and that's what I appreciate and you all um thank you so much I mean putting up with this and listening to if you are too and I want to tell you that you can be yourself as well just you know love yourself always understand your worth like always understand your worth and if you feel like you have a goal and it doesn't even happen yet just go for it because if you love yourself you won't give up on that easily so yeah that's what i want to say immerse in that loving environment then last but not least what i want to say is focus on your journey your journey is different from someone else um i've already said never compare to yourself but also be patient on how long it takes because for everyone it is different I, there is one mind-opening thing that I have recently, I mean, after my granddad passed away, um, I just start to notice, you know, how life really is short. There is a finite amount of time, and every day we are given a chance to get up, and, you know, you can either choose to be happy or choose to be sad. If you choose the feelings of joy, of love, of really appreciating yourself then days are much better like life would be so much better um the life is really just um the rea of what you perceive life is like i know this sounds so philosophical philosophical but but life is what you think it is so if you choose if you see your life as something that is so enjoyable you know something like it is a good kind of challenge then it is and it's a way of expressing self-love too and yeah so i just want to say that for all of you guys to be fit and healthy and happy if you watch my videos um, i want you to pursue those goals from a place of really loving yourself and enjoying that process of getting that alone um, not just the results but also really enjoying this journey and doing this for the good of your body because we want to be healthy and we want to be fit we want to be strong and even when we're 80 we still want to play with those little doggies 
and now I want to say thank you so much for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you do, then give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want for my future videos and I will see you next time.